Hello everybody, my name is Nerdy Lover and welcome to another episode of our football betting series here on YouTube, La Liga edition. And finally, it took us all the way until the end of week three for us to win a single bet in Spain, but we have done it. So let's quickly recap the games for you. We did take Helona to beat Cadiz. That did not happen. We did take a £10 hit there. Valencia let us down after Cavani was subbed off at half-time. They did drop a 2-1 lead to draw 2-2. Betis did win, and it would have been a nice pickup for us, but alas, we had already lost our double. We took another £20 hit. We did lay Celta Vigo against Sociedad, and despite Sociedad passing the ball through to Aspas to score... We did manage to pick up a 2-1 win there, which means we were paid out our £11 and we got our first win of the month of October in Spain. So we continued our good form. We took El Clasico over two and a half. The game finished three goals to one. We picked up another £11.20. So across that match week, the last match week, we did still take a hit of £7.80. pence. we scroll to the top, we can see our La Liga record is a abysmal minus 77.80. We are only hitting at a 25% win rate. So if you want to tune out now, that's fine. I totally appreciate it. But if you're silly enough to keep watching, we do have some more selections for you here in La Liga. We're going to try and improve things up, getting closer to zero on our profit loss column here and getting our win percentage up a little bit more, hopefully. So without further ado, let's jump into the games for the weekend, the 23rd, the 22nd and 23rd of October. It is quite a brief episode this time around as we do only have two selections, but I'm feeling confident. Starting things off with Valladolid against Sociedad. Valladolid were beaten one goal to nil against Espanyol last time out. There's been a, uh, a mixed bag of form for Valladolid. They've ridden on a bit of luck with Hatafe missing a penalty to give Valladolid three points. And Betty's getting a man sent off after 30 minutes to help them secure a point. I've not been very impressed on the eye test, and I'm not impressed by the statistics that Valladolid have, only scoring 0.7 goals from 1.6 key chances created per 90, they are twice as likely to concede than they are to score with a goal tally against of 1.6. The away side Sociedad picked up that win against Celta Vigo last time out, and Sociedad have looked strong for large periods in the game and in this season. They're flying high on the back of seven wins in a row in all competitions now. The Blue and White score 1.7 goals per game from 3.4 key chances created per 90. They've got a lot more goal scoring potential than what they've shown thus far. Sociedad do concede a pretty average 1.3 goals per game against. And they're going to be looking to get this number closer to one if they are to break into those Champions League spots at the end of the season. Despite Sociedad's vulnerability to concede, I cannot see Valladolid scoring two or more. I like Sociedad here to score at least two or more, so I have confidence in backing them to win away from home. I do have added confidence as well because they are one of the top sides away from home this season with nine points from four matches on the road. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, Sociedad have won two of the last three heads up and they are unbeaten in each of their last five. Sociedad in a single is the first of two bets for us here. In a short episode, we do have one more selection. We do have Real Madrid table toppers against Sevilla. And Los Blancos have forged, have opened up a lead at the top of the table with their 3-1 victory in El Clasico against Barcelona. They're still unbeaten in all competitions this season, a tally which has now risen to 14 games. Los Blancos scored an impressive 2.4 goals per game from 3.4 key chances created per 90. The defence leaves a little bit to be desired. They do concede 0.9 goals per game. They have been a bit disappointing to have only managed one clean sheet in the league so far. The away side Sevilla did win last game by a goal to nil against Mallorca. They are now three games in a row without defeat in all competitions, following a rough start to the year. Sevilla are, Sevilla are only managing a single goal per game from 1.4 key chances per 90. And as well as a lackluster attack, their defence has also been an issue this season. They do concede 1.6 goals against. A bit like Real Madrid, they also only have one clean sheet to their name through 10 games so far in La Liga. When we look at the head-to-head -head record, Real Madrid won both games last year by a margin of 2-1 and 3-2 respectively. Los Blancos are unbeaten in their last seven encounters against Sevilla, winning six of them. Real Madrid are the team for me. They look to continue their strong start to the year. 
if they are to hope to challenge Barcelona for the league title. Real Madrid to win at home is going to wrap up this episode. So there we have it. Just the two selections in La Liga for this match day. We've decided to be a bit more conservative and limit our losses. Just really go for games we're confident on. We start off on the Saturday afternoon with Sociedad to beat Valladolid. Really generous odds of almost 11 over 10. £20 stake to return 2160. We do also have in the evening on Saturday Real Madrid to beat Sevilla. Odds are currently 0.43, but we're hoping that that will drift to about 0 0.55, 0 0.6 before kickoff. If not, we're still going to take a profit of £8.60 should that come in. The only question is, will we? Well, for that, you're going to have to tune into next episode. But if you did make it to this point in the video, please drop a like down below. My name is Nerdy Lover, and as always, have yourself a lovely day.